everyone, thank you for reading my article in this month's issue of Shutter Magazine. This month I talk about being indispensable and the difference between that and being irreplaceable in the workplace. Um, this kind of goes for anybody who's ever been an employee anywhere. It doesn't mean it has to be for a photographer or for an assistant. Um, I talk about the importance of making yourself so important to the company that you are crucial to the success of that company. Um, it's interesting right now where we're starting to bring on new people into this organization and we, Sal and I keep talking about the qualities that we're looking for in a new employee and what they can do to be successful with us. Um, things like um, anticipating the needs of your boss. I know I've talked about this all the time. Um, you anticipate the needs of your photographer while you're on a shoot. You anticipate the needs of just your boss day to day. You know, something I write about in my article is how I've worked so hard over the years to get to know Sal so well that I know when he asked me to get coffee for him, he actually needs something sweet to go with it. So it's little things like that that will make the difference for you as an employee. Um, something else that's a big deal is being proactive. Um, I think it's easy for a lot of people, especially in my generation, to think that, you know, you've got your job, call yourself an assistant. Your, your roles are to do X, Y, and Z every day. Why stop there? Why is doing X, Y, and Z enough for you. Um, I think anybody can do X, Y, and Z. So if you wanna become um, indispensable to your company, do X, Y, Z, and then go back and do A, B, C, D, and E from your boss's list. It'll make, you, make that much of a difference, make you that much more crucial to the company. Um, I think it's really easy for millennials to get stuck in this mindset of believing that they deserve something, they're entitled to something, but if you don't work for it, and if you don't prove yourself, then I don't think you can ever be indispensable in a company. So I hope this helps. I've got 10 tips in my article, very brief descriptions, but I think all of the tips are things you can implement today to make yourself important to your company.